We've learned more about the man who died after contracting rabies from an organ donation. This broke earlier this week, and a lot of people were concerned and freaked out. This is exceedingly rare. But this man received a kidney in December of 2024, and then died in January of 2025. And because of the concerning symptoms of the kidney recipient, it launched a CDC investigation. The only way to test for rabies truly is by testing the brain, which you cannot do while someone's alive. And because of the matter of death of the donor, there was no reason to suspect rabies. They suspect it was from a skunk about five weeks before death. And no, organs are not routinely tested for rabies. Because one, it's super rare. And two, the time it takes for the test to come back. These organs just can't sit out forever. And this is not the first case of someone getting rabies from an organ transplant, though it is super rare. And because of this, they were able to give PEP or post-exposure prophylaxis to the corneal tissue recipients from that same donor. And remember, rabies is 100% fatal. And while people have survived rabies, we suspect rabies we don't know for sure. Because remember, the only accurate way to test for rabies is to take a sample of your brain, which you can't meaningfully do if you're alive. So those people who've survived rabies are suspected rabies cases, because we don't know if it's a different Lisa virus. Thankfully, this is super rare and no small part due to the rabies vaccine.